If the government says one of the options will be that we should leave the European Union without an agreement, and it might or not add, i.e. a no-deal Brexit. Now, what exactly is your role as the Electoral Commission in trying to assess the intelligibility of that question? Because it could be argued that it begs a lot of questions as to what is this thing called a no-deal Brexit, which is leaving the European Union without a deal. So, based on our experience with the EU referendum, yeah. uh, the process that we followed was effectively to go out and seek views from all stakeholders who were involved in the referendum in one way or another, so political parties, campaigners, uh, uh, the uh, other organisations who might have a bearing on it. So, for example, we would speak to the Welsh Language Commissioner because the question would need to be in uh, both languages and be intelligible in both languages. And we would also talk to the Plain English Commission, for example, as an organisation which is able to talk to us about how questions can be made more intelligible. But also importantly, as you alluded to, we would undertake extensive public uh, opinion work through focus groups, through detailed interviews, to really understand what people understood from the question. And some of that is about any preamble which leads up to the question itself. Some of it's about the wording of the question. Uh, there's been discussion about whether one would have something other than a binary referendum, and clearly the structure of more than one question would fall into the remit of this, whether people understood how two or more questions interrelated. Um, but we would also be looking at what people understood as the outcome of the specific question. Well, that's what I'm trying to get Specifically yeah. to your point. So from at, at the last referendum, as part of our feedback to the government and to Parliament, we did actually draw forward evidence that people did not... There was evidence that people didn't understand sufficiently what leave meant, for example. And that's something which we bring forward as, as evidence as part of the whole process, and we effectively pass that evidence back to government and to parliament. It's not a requirement to accept the recommendations that we put forward, or indeed to, uh, to take into account all of the evidence that we put forward. But we're, it's a responsibility for us to make sure that we're feeding up uh, to you and to the government uh, all of the information that's come forward uh, to us as part of that process.